Hello there, I'm Andrew Hill. Welcome back to some Hearts of Iron 4. Playing Waking the Tiger as Ching China, 3rd of March 1943. We're pushing up very deeply here in this section because there doesn't appear to be a lot of troops, but they are now repositioning to us from the south northeast from Astrakhan. And our motorized divisions are pushing up okay, but I really have wanted to stop them because I need divisions over the west to support them. These guys are doing quite well. Uh, the Mongolian front is collapsing, which is great. Oh, not, not for me. We're fine. We're taking that section, northeastern section, easily. And once that goes, we're going to need to rotate another 20 divisions to the west. The key thing here is grabbing as much as possible because what's happened is that the, the Russians have pulled their divisions back from the German front to move them to this front, which is problematic to say the least. Um, I think maybe we should stop now. Yeah, maybe we should just sit, sit quietly. There we go. Good, good, good. Um, got some destroyers. Let's start working on some fighters. We really do need fighters. The lack of fighters is a serious problem for us. Although, actually, no, it's not, because they, they don't really, they're not really putting many fighters here. This section appears to be the majority of our victories. Um, like, we're just getting tons of growth. Mad. I mean, let's just see what happens if I just push these guys directly to there. Here it is. Like, we're gonna grab a lot of stuff, and we're getting a lot of factories. Uh, when the war dies, of course, we're gonna have to deal with the fact that we may not get as much as we'd like, because the German Reich has done a lot more. But, wow, look at the number of dead. <laughs> oh my god, the Germans have lost two million alone. Holy crap. I've actually lost one and a half million, but I don't really care. I'm basically endless with people. I'm Chinese. I... It, does, it just doesn't matter. I know that sounds horrible, but it's also the truth. Uh, the Kami Chinas are doing okay. We really need to kind of move these guys again, because they started to push to the south, which is fine by me. Fine by me. Oh, they have kind of started to spread a little bit, which is, uh, it's not great. Let's check a force attack command on both of these. Might help out a little bit. Can you, can you stop that, please? Why are you being so rude? They are also low supply, but for some reason, so am I. Uh, they are spreading pretty quickly, though. That's not good. Okay, why are you not doing your job? What is wrong with you? I am starting to get a little bit concerned that, um... Come on, you go there. No, you, you there. Good boy. I'm starting to get a little, an echo bit concerned, though. About this, this section here. There's a bit too many dudes here that I'm not a fan of. Arrgh! Let's get, um... Signal Company to try and help out a little bit. Oberlinge wounded, that's another wound for us. Okay, yeah, um, maybe we could actually just try and go on a border defense right now, guys? Yeah? They're kind of spreading a little bit. Uh, it's not really ideal. Uh, it would appear that this entire general has decided to stop doing things. So I guess we'll use him to fill out the, the southern, southeastern reaches. There we are. Please hurry up. Good, there we are. That should help create some defenses at least. A little bit of them. Kami China is actually doing really, really well. I would have liked to be able to pull the divisions to the west, but it's okay. Uh, we've almost pushed a Stalingrad. We've actually managed to make a consecutive border growth line right now. But they are being pushed very heavily towards Moscow. I'm not sure how much longer they're going to... Oh, nope, Mongolia's capitulated. I'm not sure how much longer Russia's going to be able to survive this. Oh, man. Doesn't look good for Russia. They're trying to grab as much territory as possible. Let's, uh, let's turn these guys off from their assaults. Let them reposition a little bit. We're having some trouble. Uh, we can get a little bit more steel from these guys, which is good. That'll help out our growth, our industry. Another general been wounded. Oh, goody. We've got a lot of motorized now. I think we can maybe turn down some of our motorized. And let's start putting more dudes on the infantry front. Boom. There we go. And that makes us need a lot more steel. Damn. Damn. I don't have that steel. Is there any more steel I can grab that's immediately available? Not really. Uh, there's a little bit here. Give me that, give me that steel. We're kind of letting just the AI do its own thing. Um, something very interesting, by the way, is that there's actually a bug, or it's an, I think it might actually be an intentional change. 
but it's a crazy one that currently makes it so that um, the AI... So that, you know you have planning bonuses, right? That, you know, gives you bonus attack when you're moving because of your planning. It now depreciates at eight times the speed if you give them manual controls rather than AI controls. It was not in the patch notes, and yet it's here. Like, it's crazy. Why is that a thing? But it just is. It's mad. Yeah, not super sure why these guys aren't just taking everybody and killing them and eating their babies, but... Please hurry up. Try and encircle things, please. It's fine. They're never going to be able to capitulate us. They're too small. We have so many divisions hereby. Hereby? Here, nearby. Uh, we got 15 motorized divisions. Let's move them now as well. Let's start getting them involved. Get them stuck in. We can start making better medium tanks as well. Um, we're going to need medium tanks if we want to have a chance to invade. Uh, oh, I'm just drifting to the left now. Okay. That was odd. Germany's still doing pretty well, but in the Ostwall. Ostwall gives them... What is it? Ostwall construction gives them 20% land forts, forts. Oh my god. Place land forts along the Dnepr River to the Baltic. And each of the following states are fully controlled. Awesome. And the fall of Pearl Harbor. <gasps> the Japanese have storm taken Honolulu. Oh, wow. It is time. It is time. What are you like, Japan? You're gonna get wrecked! You're getting bicycle battalions as well. That's gonna that's gonna get you wrecked, my friends. I must say, not a good plan. Alright, let's just try and push some territory back. It's gonna kinda keep them occupied, that's fine. We have a little bit of political power we're not using, which isn't great. I'd really always be using my political power. Why have I not... Ah, I can't go to mobilization because I don't have more than 80% war support. We need to try and get some more air uh, war support. Why can't I not get rid of my low legitimacy? Ah, once I have a mandate of heaven, I can get low legitimacy. That's why. That's why. So I just need to take this, this, this state. Once I have Kami China, I can get rid of low legitimacy and then I can go total mobilization. Ah, they're being really horrible to me, though. It's not good. Uh, the Russians are falling, which is good. Very well done. Honestly, though, it looks like Russia will fall pretty soon. We've taken a lot of their territory. Like, just in pure miles, we've taken a lot. They are actually incredibly close to capitulating. What the hell? I guess they lost all the western towns, haven't they? Yeah, they just lost Rizev as well. Yeah, they're going to fall within, the, within a month. Let's just take everything we can. Go that way. We cut them off. We taken Stalin. We've taken Stalingrad. Hello. That's given us a first carrier. Excellent. Let's start working on some close air support as well. I mean, we are. We do have a lot of dockyards, which is great, but. We do need some steel to get submarines and battleships and such, and cruisers. It would be really nice. God, we're just devouring their land. Look at this. Unfortunately, the Soviet Union, the German Reich are going to take quite a lot. Mm. Not ideal. But then they can do start, start doing things like taking Turkey as well, uh, and then Iraq to then open up the border and start fighting in Africa. The war is literally never going to end at this point. Oh, hey guys. Hey, hey, they're gonna take Stalingrad back. What are you doing? What, what, are, you, what are you doing? Alright, let's not let them have Stalingrad for free, eh? Yeah, this is the thing. They've had to reposition to come to us, and this has really messed them up. Nice little almost encirclement going on over there. Lots of fighting happening to the north. And these guys have been pretty contained. That's good. All right, there we go. And these guys can keep attacking. Perfect. We're still a little bit weak on this front line. Uh, and we have actually lost all our infantry equipment. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we are now out of infantry equipment. God damn. Not good, guys. But the war should end pretty soon. Yeah, no. Once Moscow falls, they are done. It's really all just about taking as many points as possible and getting as much victory. Because, I mean, German Reich will take as of the, much of the north as possible, but we're, we're going to want to get all the resources, the caucuses and stuff, all of that, as much as possible. We're going to also... The problem is, when we invite when we invade Japan, we are going to have to deal with Germany. Communists trying to capitulate it! We must take in the capital. 
Nice. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Mutual assistance block. Is that what they were called? Eh. Odd. Giving us... Oh, there we go. That, deal, that helps with our infantry equipment deficit. Which means we can now claim the mandate of heaven. Our victories in the war have made it clear that the heaven itself has judged the emperor to be just and worthy of the celestial throne. Any doubt that he is not legitimate ruler of all China must vanish in the face of such overwhelming evidence. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We're amazing now. I'm quite disturbed at the fact that Ceylon have... Oh! Oh! And they capitulated. Oh, no! This counts as a separate war! I'm in two separate wars. Communist China never got Soviet Union support. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, they never got support. Wow. You guys suck. What the hell, man? Soviet Union has lost 11 million population. Holy shit. They're still only on service by requirement. So yeah, they were actually separate wars. And now we're fighting the Soviet Union just because. Because it's fun. Okay, so we have a lot of generals here who are doing very little... Um, let's, let's get these guys, like, I don't know, here or something. And I guess you guys here too, why not? Let's just chuck you guys everywhere. As much, any land that we can grab now is beneficial to us. Ah, oh, that's good though, look at that. It's gonna get, does this give us core? No, we actually already had cores, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we already had cores for this. Oh, isn't that nice? God, look at the millions of people who live here. No wonder our population just jumped up again. Christ. Really should spend some of this factory power. Let's get... Oh, I don't have any of these air designers. Lame. Oh, I do have ship designers. There we go. Ah. So I can re increase... Oh, that's weird. Jin Gang Shipyard Group. So I can reduce production costs with deck size and range massively reduced. Or, oh, because it's coastal defense, right? Or raiding fleet and get deck size and f naval firepower reduction, but service ability and max... I don't want any of those. None of those are good options for me. Like, at all. Oh, I don't want this. St 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 stop it. <laughs> Let's get Chief of Navy decisive battle. There we go. So hopefully the, uh, they don't capitulate. To, oh, yeah, no, they're going to capitulate pretty soon. Because the moment they capitulate means I can't go total mobilization until this, fo this focus tree is done. It's going to take another six, 50 days. And there goes Moscow. And they're still in the war. They're still in the war, guys, with the fall of Moscow. German panzers smashed through hastily erected barriers in the streets of Moscow, and half-tracks are seen unloading panzer grenadiers on Red Square. Thick, billowing smoke and the many fires raging in the suburbs could be seen rising into the air as German infantry stormed the Kremlin. Grenades and flamethrowers reportedly needed, needed to fight stubborn NKVD holdouts intent on defending every inch of the complex. The Russian capital is now in German hands, but has been left a burning ruin. Unconfirmed reports indicate Lenin's embalmed corpse was safely evacuated east. Oh, boy. They're still actually alive, though, but they're fucked now. Oh, it's because they haven't lost Leningrad, that's why. Yeah, because, you know, if they lose Leningrad and Moscow and all the western bit, and even just one of these, they die. And they also, I, I took Stalingrad, so... Yeah, Leningrad, Stalingrad, and Moscow, that's essentially capitulation. And <laughs> that's not even taking into account all the land that I've taken in the east. I mean, look at this, though. I've taken a huge amount of land. You guys are taking a long time to get over there. As soon as that as Leningrad falls, though, they're out. Oh, I wish I could see it. They have five knit coastal forts, actually, but no actual forts. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, they're dead, man. They are dead. So very dead. But this just gives us more time to grab as much land as possible. Rush to Saratov! Yes, good. Every inch must be claimed by the Qing. Every inch. Really, I would prefer it if they didn't capitulate, so I could get the get that damn mandate. That'd be nice. Steel wise, we're actually not terrible. Still need a little bit more, but I don't know. We're gaining quite a lot actually, but the problem is we're going to lose quite a bit of this to the bloody Germans. Ugh. When we get the border things, we're going to at least want to control all of this. We want this. There's a lot of oil here that I need. Um, 
I'd like to try and take up to here, but most likely not going to be able to. And there are factories here too, and there's a lot of resources like steel. Oh my god, so much steel here. We need we need this area like crazy. Okay. Doing it, guys. Oh, Leningrad is so close to falling. Oh my god. No, hold on, Leningrad. Another, another month or so. You can do it! I believe in you! I mostly believe in them. I slightly, I slightly believe in them. I don't believe in them that much. Come on, you can do it. Come on. I love how you can actually still see the town. like the, And it's gone. And there it is. They've capitulated. Oh, well, no total mobilization for me. Oh, look at that. They've actually managed to push in against me a little bit. And there it is. The war is over. Fall of Leningrad. I actually have more points than they do. Okay. What happened to Iran? Okay, that's annoying. So I should not be allowed to take many territories. This is the problem. In the very least, we need these. Um, let's at least grab this. I don't want to waste points, but... Yeah, let's at least grab this stuff here. Anything with good factories here. Let's just try and grab as many of the resources as possible. Damn it. Well, we can grab quite a lot of this stuff, which is good. Any other one-pointers? Yeah, anything that's a one-pointer, I'm just going to go ahead and grab. There's no way they'll be able to grab all that, though. Oh, that's not good. They're already taking a lot. Okay. Let's focus on um, resources as well. I gotta get Mongolia, too. We really do want to focus on resources, though. It's kind of the priority. Damn it! Alright, uh, screw that then. I, I do want that, though. It's good. Perfect. Okay. Okay, they're not taking much. They're actually really not taking much. This is good. We have to stop them taking anything that's directly in our interest, though. Because the AI will just nab it like crazy. They're rude. The AI is rude, guys. It would be good if we could push to the west, but it, obviously we didn't conquer that, so it costs an insane amount to try and take it. Let's just focus on getting resources for now, and we'll focus on border beautification later. A little bit of chromium there. It's fine. Alright, we've managed to tie this in. That's good, that's good. Not really a lot of resources here, guys. Let's end our turn here. Taking a little bit of this pass once. Okay, good. Again. That's fine. Alright. Let's focus on taking as much territory as possible here. This is important. Very important that we grab this. Here, because it's, it's important to make a kind of concentric border. I do not want to get pushed around by the AI. Any factories I grab would also be excellent. This, 50 factories. That's good. Gorky is only 75 if you want to go. Okay, so there's, there's some decent factories in this area. There was no way I was going to get Moscow, so I'm, I am not cut up that I've lost that. Civvy factories here. Mil lots of mill mil and civvy factories here and there. 4-3. 5-1. Because the Germans should have moved um, a lot of stuff. What? Hey, it's not showing all the resources here. Yeah. It's not showing all the resources. What the hell? Okay, well, that's fine. But there is steel and chromium here, so... Yeah, they've moved, they moved their factories to the Urals. So everything we grab here is just like a pile of factories. So good. Oh, 7-2. Oh, we can't take it. Fine, fine, fine. 7-2, though. That's nice. I will take Rostov for the port. Structure. There, nope, too much. 
They're going to start grabbing a lot of land soon, though. Nine mill factories. Ah, it's too expensive. Three and three, that's good. All right, what are they doing? So we're passing now. Japan's actually got uh, stuff, but they're refusing to take it. That's interesting. But we're being allowed to grab just like a whole bunch of territory, so that's great. I do very much want to focus on any factories that I can get in any resource. Like, look, aluminium and chromium, like, mad. There we go. We're taking all the urals for ourselves. Urals? Urals? Something like that. That's no, just infrastructure. I don't care about that. Weird that it's not showing me the resources properly. That's really annoying. Aluminium and steel. Eh. Okay. Anything else that no one else has grabbed that I could try and take? Some chromium there, but I don't care about that a lot. Mill factories? Yes, please. Who's there? Two civvy factories? That could be worthwhile. I don't see any reason why I shouldn't try and steal anything I can, you know? Why not, right? Oh, these borders are going to be so gross. This is going to offend my delicate sensibilities. Anything that gives me bonuses is really what I want. Like right there. Oh man, that's good. Spicy meatball right there. Nice, nice. Also, if it's cheap, that's what I really like. Nice. Hey, can't take that, but I can take... Oh, I can't even take that. Jesus. Yeah, there it is. We... <laughs> We're grabbing a lot of territory, and they, they don't care. The city factory there. There's nothing to the east. This is the thing. Is there even any resources? Jesus. This is barren. So very barren. It also literally costs one point to take, so I don't see any reason why I shouldn't take it. Just to make my borders pretty, because I'm sure I'll have commenters screaming, Oh, your borders are disgusting, Aldra. Kill yourself. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So we've managed to take literally all the borders that I like. There we go. I can't afford any of these, so... Let's get to Finland. Oh, yeah. Look at these borders. <laughs> um, and unfortunately, because the allies are still in the way, that's why this is happening like this, because the allies are still there. That's fine. But look at this. We're huge. Is there anything I can take? We're just going to keep passing until we can get some stuff. Over here, there's six, nine factories total right there. I'll never... Oh, I can actually buy that. I can actually take that. Oh, wow. I can actually steal that from them. Just take it like it's mine. I'm going to pretend it's mine. Thanks for 45 steel and nine factories. Oh, the power of passing, guys. The power of passing. Ooh. Now they're starting to grab some stuff. Oh. That's the bad border. Can't grab that. Can't grab that. Can't grab that. All right, what else? Oh. There's also Stanislaw. Huh. Ah, didn't even realize that was there. I think that's everything. Pretty sure that's everything. We already got Kami China, so that's fine. <laughs> I can take Crimea. Ah, oh, it's a Crimea. All right, there it is. The Soviet Union has been annexed. I took 91 states. That was a very long peace conference. But look at us now, guys. We are extremely powerful. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Now, the only other problem is, obviously, actually, no. Germany is not in the same faction with um with them. No, they won't join. No, they're not. They're in a co greater East Asian co-prosperity sphere. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This means I don't have to worry about Germany. I can still check a couple generals on the their front line just in case. But we are perfectly fine now, guys. We don't need shit from these guys. Oh, baby. This is fantastic. In the next episode, we're going to remodel our economy. Everything's going to be amazing. 
We still can't go total mobilization, unfortunately, but look at this. We just gained 25 factories. We got 70 factories for days. What is that? There's a tiny UK army there. Oh, that's disgusting. Leave a like and comment this video, guys. Let me take this series so far and check out my Patreon if you want to support me further. I was Aldrin Lunkin Tadesby. This has been Hearts of Iron 4, Waking the Tiger, Ching China. But soon to be Empire China. Bye-bye.